In this video, we're going to look at a um, somewhat advanced implementation of the resources section in N5 version 1.5. So here I've got a document that I've set up with some rather tall pages. It's kind of a mock website with some placeholder material. So I'll scroll down and show you what it looks like. Just several of these pages that you'd find on almost any website. And then I'm going to flip over to my web browser and show you what that looks like if I just import it with the continuous scroll format, the vertical. And uh, so what N5 does is do, you know, basically an exact replica of this and uh, makes it look like pages. So it's got a, it's got edges and a border and a drop shadow to sort of indicate that the page is sitting on a surface. And so that's, that's great for certain things, but for this particular project, I really want to make this look like a website. And so I can do that really easily by attaching some CSS and some JavaScript. So, um, and I'll show you kind of the mechanism behind how this works really quickly first. So when I attach CSS or JavaScript, or even I just select one of the checkboxes in the resources section, it'll add some metadata attributes to some of my content here. So I'm looking at the source in Firefox and you can see on the page items there's now a data bookmarks uh, attribute which if you've looked at the N5 code before you haven't seen and this one is showing uh, home for the first page, services for the second page, about us for the third page and so on and I'll show you where that comes from right now. So if I flip over to InDesign, those are my bookmarks. So they're actually showing up in the HTML code along with the associated pages. I'll show you how I created those. So for each one of these I, I just I got rid of that contact one and so when I created the contact uh, bookmark I double clicked on the page in the pages panel to make sure I was on the contact page. I clicked to add a new bookmark in the bookmarks panel and I just named it contact. And that's what I did with every single bookmark. Okay, so I have those, and there's actually a couple ways to do that, and the bookmarks are just one way. And um, so then I'll have that metadata in the output, and I'll show you how we'll get that with the JavaScript here. So the JavaScript I'm using is jQuery. It's just getting called on the, the this is like jQuery uh, syntax for you know when the document is ready so I can actually access it and what I'm doing is appending to the document this nav node and a list and then what I do is I run through every page item that has a data dash bookmarks attribute and grabbing the 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 position of that page in the document and then creating a, a list item with a link that links me to that page. And then the content of that is the text that's in the data dash bookmarks node. And then I'm setting the width of the menu to match the width of a page. And then I've got some CSS in here. So to make it look more like a website, I've gotten rid of the border and the drop shadow and the margin around the page. So the, the pages are all going to flow together continuously. And then I've got some styling for the menu. This is going to be a fixed menu that sits at the top. It's centered horizontally. Uh, it's white on gray. And then I'm using uh, some other CSS to make it, uh, to get rid of the list style um, and to make it sort of function like a table. And then each item is going to function like a table cell. So that's just really kind of a cheap, simple way to center every every item across the menu that you'll see in a second. And um, and just setting some padding, centering the text, and just a little tricks here to make sure the text doesn't collapse. And then I'm hiding that border on the left on the first item so that um, the, the bar that you'll see only appears in between the items. So that's just a simple way to have a border on the left of each of them except for the first one. And then I added a little bit of a, a color to the hover. And, you know, you could add animation to that so the hover actually animates in or anything like that. Um, but this is a pretty simple example. Show you how powerful it is. And then in InDesign, what I can do is attach these. So 
what I did for the first page that you saw was just go up to file, choose export HTML5 with N5, and I exported it. And what I'm going to do this time is attach that CSS and JavaScript file that I just, just showed you. So I'm going to click plus in the resources with CSS and browse for a file. I'm going to grab the custom menu CSS file. Do the same thing for the JavaScript. Browse for that file. And then I'm going to click OK to run in 5. And it's going to process through all the while. It's uh, throwing those bookmarks in there. And when it's done, the, the JavaScript and the CSS will be in our output and um, it'll be there to reuse so that we can modify it and re-export it and uh, have that work really easily. So if I switch over here, you can see now there's a menu at the top. Um, I can scroll and navigate just like I could before, uh, but I also have this menu. So if I click on the menu, it takes me these pages. So that works pretty nicely. And that was just a tiny mod modification. So imagine what you can do with a little more time and uh, if you're a programmer you can you can dabble in it or you can work with a programmer and make in5 do just about anything you want it to now thanks for watching